Well, hi there, South Fellowship Church. This is Ryan Paulson, lead pastor, and coming to you here with a video on Leviticus chapter 19, verses 9 through 10. Um, it's a companion text to 1 Peter 4, verses 8 through 9. And in verse 9 of 1 Peter, Peter writes to the church, he says, Offer hospitality without grumbling. Now, I made the point yesterday in our message that any time hospitality's been offered, there's been a, a, a at least a tendency to grumble about it. That this is not a modern problem. This is just a human problem and a human reality because hospitality is difficult. It demands something of us. There's a cost. It's um, it, it's invasive. Uh, invasive it's expensive um and uh it is invasive expensive and inconvenient it takes our time and so oftentimes our response to it is grumbling so i wanted to answer the question how how do we offer hospitality without grumbling that, that's the command of the scriptures. And I think we get a hint of how to do that in Leviticus chapter 19. So here's what Leviticus chapter 19 says. Verse 9, when you reap the harvest of your land, do not reap to the very edges of your field or gather the gleanings of your harvest. Do not go over your vineyard a second time or pick up the grapes that have fallen. Leave them for the poor and the foreigner, I am the Lord, your God. And if you were to follow this all the way down to verse 18, so Leviticus chapter 19, verse 18, you would have the command, love your neighbor as yourself. Now, we're going to see this as the second greatest command, and Jesus talks about it. It's the command that the um, that the that Jesus tells the Good Samaritan story out of. And so here we see its context. The context is love your neighbor as yourself. How do you do that? Well, part of the way that you do that is you don't go to the very edges of your field. You, you leave something there, and you don't go over it a second time. Uh, do, do you get the picture that here's what's going on? Uh, you have this field that you own and that you are um, planting grapes in, a vineyard. And what God says is, okay, you could go all the way up to the edges. But what I want you to do is I want you to leave space for people to come and to take from the edges of your field for themselves. <laughs> So this whole area here, the edges, is for the poor, it's for the foreigner, and it's so that you can learn to love your neighbor in really practical ways. So here's, here's sort of the big idea. How do we create the type of life that has space for hospitality without grumbling, right? Um, one word, margin. Margin. And margin is a really difficult thing to do. Um, it's a difficult thing to create, especially in our day and our culture where we prize ourselves, pride ourselves on production, on um, achievement, on progress. Um, one person, Michael Hyatt, said it like this You must create more margin so that you have room for what's important, not merely urgent. I love that. Important over urgent. And here's, here's part of the issue that we have. When we create margin in our time, in our money, with our space, when we create margin, here's the question that I always have. Is this space, the margin space, is it going to be used or wasted. Like if I leave time, God, are you going to actually bring things into my life that are going to be valuable? Um, am I going to be productive in it if I don't plan it? And 
I, I, I think what I sense God saying is that's not the main point. Even if it's unproductive time and it's time in silence or time in solitude or just downtime with family or going on a hike, even if it's not quote unquote used to produce or achieve, it's still valuable. Even wasted time is valuable. So here's the big idea. The big idea is if we want to create margin or if we want to create the type of life that offers hospitality and lives out this ideal of being a neighbor without grumbling, we have to be people who create margin in our lives. That's God's calling for us. We still get to live on the middle part here, but God's invitation to us is that we be people who create margin. I hope that you will in your time, in your finances, in your space, that you'll invite others in and that they would receive from the goodness of which God has blessed you with. Create some margin today and see how God might use it. God bless.